Sensor calibration. Your Sentec digital monitor includes a state-of-the-art V-Sign sensor, providing measurement of transcutaneous PCO2, oxygen saturation, and pulse. PCO2 measurement is performed utilizing a patented digital severing house electrode, providing fast and reliable PCO2 readings. The digital electrode requires periodic calibration as displayed in the status bar window. When the unit is powered up, the Sentec monitor will indicate that a calibration is necessary. This initial calibration should take between three to five minutes and will be adequate for the first four hours of monitoring unless prompted by the monitor. Once monitoring time has reached the initial four hour interval, the monitor will display calibrate sensor in the status bar window. As soon as the monitor prompts the message calibrate sensor, Remove the sensor from the patient. Depending on which interface you are using, this can be accomplished in the following manner. Ear clip. Remove the adhesive tape from the sensor cable and unwind from the ear. Remove the ear clip carefully from the patient's earlobe, then detach the sensor carefully from the ear clip. Alternatively, you may also remove the sensor from the ear clip and leave the ear clip attached to the earlobe for further measurements. Multi-site ring. Remove the adhesive tape from the sensor cable. Place a finger on either side of the sensor and rotate the sensor towards the index finger. As the strain relief of the sensor cable comes in contact with the fingernail on the index finger, continue turning and the sensor will be wedged from its seat as shown. After use and before inserting the sensor into the docking station, remove any gel residues or dirt from the sensor and the patient's skin using a 4x4 or alcohol wipe. Before inserting the sensor into the docking station, inspect the condition of the docking station window and gasket. Buildup of gel can cause leaks or occlusions in the calibration window. A docking station in this condition must be cleaned with an alcohol swab and may require removal of the gasket for a thorough cleaning. To remove the gasket, use an O-ring pick or tweezers and carefully get under the gasket without scratching the docking surface. Then lift the gasket out. Note the gasket has a flat side and a beveled side. When replacing, the flat side goes in and the beveled side faces out. For ease of replacement, wipe the gasket gland with alcohol, then push the gasket in place with the cotton swab or blunt end of an O-ring pick. Open the docking station door by lightly pressing on the front of the door latch from above. The door will spring open. Slide the sensor into its cradle. Note that the sensor should be oriented with the red light facing towards you. Failure to perform this correctly can result in damage to the door mechanism and or the sensor. Close the door, and when the sensor reaches the set temperature, the message calibration in process will appear. Under normal circumstances, the calibration should be accomplished in three to five minutes. If a calibration goes beyond 11 minutes, please check the sensor membrane status and or the condition of the docking station. Remove the sensor by lifting up from the strain relief. Never pull the sensor from the carriage as this may cause damage to the sensor cable and housing. Reattachment to the patient. Ear clip. Clean the earlobe with a swab wetted with 70% isopropyl or according to procedures applying to your institution and let it dry. Place one small drop of Sentec contact gel or water to the sensor membrane. Please note that Sentec contact gel works better for applications where the sensor is attached in a vertical fashion as it is more viscous and water may slide off. Press the sensor into the ear clip until it snaps. Check that the sensor can be easily rotated to assure that it is snapped in correctly. Pull the earlobe in a horizontal position and attach the sensor from below to the back side of the earlobe. Close the clip from above, then guide the earlobe back in vertical position. The sensor is applied correctly if the whole dark surface is covered by the earlobe. Make sure that the sensor has good contact to the skin with no air gaps between the membrane and the earlobe. Wrap the sensor cable around the ear once Tape the cable to the cheek and secure the cable with the clothing clip on the patient's shirt or bed linen. Multi-site attachment rings. 
Clean the skin with alcohol where the multi-site ring is to be used. Reapply one small drop of Sentec contact gel or water to the sensor membrane. Remove cover of adhesive tape of the attachment ring and attach the ring to the measuring site. Move your finger around the ring circumference to ensure a good adhesion of the entire adhesive to the skin. Holding the sensor at the cable strain relief, approach the MAR from the flap side and first insert the nose of the sensor into the ring. Then apply a slight downward pressure on the cable strain relief. The spring tension of the application device will pull the sensor into place with little to no pressure on the skin. Slightly twist the sensor in the ring and press the sensor gently to ensure distribution of the contact liquid and contact with the skin. For forehead or cheek placement, wrap the sensor cable once around the ear and tape the cable to the cheek.